So here's the big deal. Vakanine in a fourth. He's just the guy. He's a seven eighth defenseman for the Rangers. 1.1 million. Truba, no money. The Rangers had to retain. So it's a clean getaway from $8 million AAV. Jacob Truba is now an Anaheim Duck. The latest logo next to Jacob Truba's name, the Anaheim Ducks, a Jet, a Ranger, and now a Duck. Jacob, thanks for joining us. Uh, what's the overriding emotion going through your head and your chest right now? Um, a lot. I think, uh, I think bittersweet's probably a great word. Obviously, I'm excited for, for a new chapter, um, get out to Anaheim and meet new teammates and, and a new opportunity. But obviously, I mean, there's a great, great time here in New York, and I love New York, love playing here, obviously, Honor being a captain here. Um, so, yeah, all that kind of comes to an end pretty quick, and you don't really have that much time to digest, and it's a quick turnaround. But I think, uh, I mean, a little more time to reflect and, and move on. It's all kind of happening pretty quick. So, it's excitement, but also, yeah, a little bit, a little bit sad. Leave New York. It's a place I love, a um, place I'll always love. Jacob, it seemed like it was just yesterday in August of 22 when I remember breaking your name, captain of the Rangers. What was it like being a captain, not only of an original six team, but the New York Rangers? Yeah, it's uh, it's different, I think, than other places for sure. Um, it's hard at times. It's great at times. Um, it's something I learned a lot through. It's something I'm glad that I had the uh, the opportunity to be able to to do. I think I learned a lot as a, a person about myself, about other people, how I, how I can treat other people, and kind of interact with other people on a day to day basis. But um, yeah, I mean, it's obviously something I'll look back on and be very proud of. Jacob, knowing the Rangers wanted to trade you this summer and had one in place, looking back, do you wish you would have taken care of all of this then? Uh, no, I don't. I mean, I, I mean, it's unfortunate it all went public, but I mean, I, I had a choice to make between my career and my family, and I chose my family. I'll make that same decision a thousand times over. Um, it's unfortunate how it all unfolded and became public and got a little bit messy. Um, definitely was was a challenge coming into this year with that uh, that kind of hanging around uh, kind of made it more challenging to lead. It was just kind of a, a situation that I guess I wish stayed more private and kind of dealt with, but uh, it is what it is. And I think I'm ready to move past and excited for a new opportunity. But didn't you realize when they did that, there were, this day would eventually come and maybe you could have had more control? Um, no, I mean, I, I obviously knew this day would eventually come. Um, more control, not really. I think I'm, I'm happy with the with the result and where I ended up going. Um, there's no crystal ball to to predict, but in the moment when when I had the choice to stay with my wife and son as long as I could or move somewhere while they they stayed in New York, I was going to take uh, take the chance to stay with my family. I think that's the uh, that's the most important thing to me, and I have no regrets at all about that decision. Speaking of family, look, you're a proud Michigander. We know that. Even as of this morning. I'm told the Detroit Red Wings were in the mix among the many teams that were in the mix. Did you ever for a moment just stop to think of what that possibility could have been like to play for your hometown wings? Yeah, obviously I thought about that. I think someone should, someone should maybe verify with the Red Wings if they were interested. Is anybody <laughs> taking that route? <laughs> uh, I did, actually. Yep. Here you go. <laughs> You're hearing it here. So what is that challenge? You go from an original six team yeah. to this young team that's on the up, all kinds of young talent. Pat Verbeek is the kind of, your kind of guy, obviously. They want you. They need you. How does that make you feel? Uh, I think excited. I think it's uh, not the same, but a little bit of a similar to where the Rangers were when I came to New York. Um, like a lot of young, young skill, young talent, kind of ready to take that next step. And I think Anaheim's a group that that's right there and ready to take the next step and I hope I can come in and contribute to that however however possible and make a positive impact on the organization. Jacob I've been in your shoes but albeit as a single guy at the time not with the family the logistics of the trade maybe just from a fan standpoint what's next what are some of the things that you guys are tackling on your to-do list right now? Um, not a ton right now I'm meeting them in Montreal so we got a bit of a road trip coming up. Mm -hmm. um, probably talk to more people there and figure out some arrangements in, uh, in Anaheim, but the uh, family's staying here for now, and she's going to finish up uh, her job and, and what she's committed to, and then we'll figure out a way to, to grind through this. Another another challenge for us. We're looking forward to, to I guess, making the, the transition over to Anaheim. Yeah, it does work out yeah. well. Anaheim is coming east for a little road trip nearby. Uh, Jacob, these are tough times. These are mm -hmm. tough days. I know your head's swirling. We thank you for taking a moment with us. Yep, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, troops.
Last three Ranger captains have been traded in season. That's unreal. Welcome to MSG. It's unreal. Ducks are in Montreal Monday night. We assume Trouba makes his Duck debut then. They have four games in six days. At Montreal, at Ottawa, at Toronto, at Columbus.